successful education is not just about academic performance, it's also about mindset and attitude. Today we're going to Tembisa, a township north of Johannesburg, to visit the Ivory Park Primary School. The school hosts a Soul Buddies Club that organizes after-school activities for kids aged 8 to 14. These activities encourage them to be responsible for themselves and to make a difference in their community, like keeping the school clean and growing vegetables for the school kitchen. Sina, when did you join Soul Buddies? I joined Soul Buddies in 2010. Wow, that's a long time. What have you learned since 2010? I learned not to bully other children and not to get involved into drugs. What does it mean to bully someone? It means when someone tries to humiliate you or take your money or lunchbox. And what do you want to become when you are? I want to become a social worker. I'm going to help the community. The Soul Body Club, it's very good because it keeps our children away from the streets and it makes them, let's say, they do have respect, it teach, teaches them respect, like Andy Seward. Since 2014, she has changed a lot. She is respecting, she can talk properly, she does respect the other children and the teachers also, and the neighbors. Okay, how was, she, how was she before? What has changed well, She was her? a bit like all the other children, she was naughty, but now she is behaving very well indeed. If you start learners at this young age, primary school, it has a chance of uh, impacting on them personally and the environment in which they are operating it for life. I think it's the best thing that has ever happened in our school, Ivory Park Primary School. And it has uh, had uh, benefits for us teachers in the classrooms. Uh, children, they concentrate and behave, disciplinary problems are less and uh, our learners are the most well behaved and also they are achieving.